I'm going to bring you on a seasonal play. A seasonal play. You know we like talking seasonals. I have used both of our uh, analysis tools that help us. So oh. I've used Markets Made Clear and I have used Season Axe when looking at this. And Season Axe also points into a potential long here for CAD Swiss as well. So um, they've got a lot more data on Season Axe um, compared to Markets Made Clear. So I'm only looking at 15 years worth of data here on, on uh, this particular platform. But on Season Axe, there was 24 years of data and it was showing a very, very similar thing. So this is CAD Swiss. Obviously, we've been talking about buying the Canadian dollar for, for a while. Obviously, we've seen some fruition with that when it comes to sort of dollar CAD shorts and whatnot. Um, but we've got this potential little bounce that could be forming right now so over 15 years worth of data we've got 68 percent correlation between the current year and with what's going on in the past uh, 15 years over 10 years we've got an 80 percent correlation so very strong correlations right and that's something that I like to see. I like to see some strong correlation going on. Um, and typically from August 23rd to September the 9th, we can see a bullish move occur um, on CAD Swiss. So looking for that um, on this particular platform. So the win rates dif differentiate quite a bit. Um, on Season Axe, I believe it's about a 67% win rate over 24 years, um, where over sort of 10, 15 years, we've got an 80% win rate over here on Markets Made Clear. Um, and on Season Axe, the past five years, we've had positive results from this uh, little move. So again, kind of we're looking at sort of the, the, the recent sort of moves that we've had um, from this in the past five years, they've had a, a bullish reaction as well. So CAD Swiss to me is something I'm going to take a little look at. I am conscious about... Um, Sort of time so i'm just going to run you through um some of the sort of uh things that we could maybe try and expect from the market if we're going to be looking for this kind of bounce now one one kind of process i like to go through is kind of why do we want to be in a particular market so why do we want to be in cad swiss well one of those reasons could be the the seasonal play that we've just talked about there you can add layers to that as well we've talked about being a buyer of cad for for commitment to trade report reasons as well um now Looking at the Swiss franc side of things, now that could be where it gets a little bit tricky for this market because Swiss franc has been very bullish, very bullish. We've had this safe haven play in the markets and that's the one thing that could go against us in this particular market. So whenever I look at the why, I also go to another part of the process, which are called the conditions. So do the conditions match our idea? Right. I'm not just going to take that seasonal play, I'm not just going to go and go, OK, I'm meant to be bullish now. Go click buy. You know, that's not how it works. I wish it was how it works. It would make life very, very simple for us. But that's not how it works. We need the conditions to line up as well. And at the moment, we don't particularly have those conditions. The market is very much in a bearish trend here. I would need to see some kind of changes in order to really want to be a buyer of this. Now, if we look at the weekly chart, Again, very bearish in the markets. And I like to ask myself the question sometimes, where would I want to be in if I was a buyer of this market? You know, I want to come in where sort of demand has been before. I want to be in that area where buyers have stepped in in the past. So will we get the move expected in line with seasonality? We might not get the exact dates, but what we could do is look for areas where those plays could come into play so if price kind of drove back into sort of the 6180 area could that be an area where we start looking to look for those kind of uh, bullish changes within the market in order for us to to sort of go long um, on CAD Swiss. So that's what I'm kind of looking for at the moment. I'm looking at sort of how the market is moving on on time frames. Do we start to see some bullish momentum? So what I mean by bullish momentum would be just kind of changes in that sort of cyclical patterns that we have. You know, at the moment, we're very much bearish here. I would say that's that's fairly bearish right now. So I want to see price kind of come back down into sort of 62s or below um and if we do then start to see some cyclical changes we could probably look for uh, a little bit of a move higher there so that's something i'm going to be looking out for um i like the little seasonal play here uh, especially because of the sort of strong correlation that we've got okay few few thoughts few thoughts yep. okay the I, I like the idea of cads long 
uh, but not yet. Uh, so that coincides with pulling back into maybe the 61s, the 61 fives, uh, especially if we can also see that bounce we're expecting on oil as well. Uh, I like the idea of getting it back in the 61, shorting the Swiss franc. I, I can't get behind right now. I'm long Japanese yen, you know, long commodities, long safe haven assets. Swiss franc does fall into that safe haven category for me. Uh, I really find it hard to to short the Swiss franc. No, I, I agree. That's 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 what I said. One part of the problem with this is the Swiss franc strength that we're seeing in the market. I, I agree. The Swiss franc strength is going to be a problem. And if we do see everything start kicking off in September, like you like you think might happen, then you know we could see more safe haven strength to come. 